Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Pittsburgh headlines on this Monday, July 31st, 2023. The final day of July is here. And as we kick off the week, it is Storm Water Week. That's right. Storm Water Week starts today and is hosted uh, by MAMSWAP. And uh, the outreach happens August 5th through the 5th through the 13th, and it includes uh, municipalities uh, in the MAMSWAP, such as Fitchburg, to learn more about stormwater infrastructure and how they can contribute to better water quality, reduce the risk of flooding, and keep local waterways clean. There's a lot of events going on this week, and we'll uh, talk about that and other ways you can learn about stormwater with our day one talking about this. Day one of our Storm or Water Week is about the basics of stormwater. You can go and learn about the basics right now, fitchburgwi.gov, and you have the link here that is included in our when we post up our headlines, we share the link so you can go and check it out and learn about Fitchburg stormwater infrastructure, learn what stormwater is, and find additional resources. All of that available online right now for you at our website, fitchburgwi.gov. We'll continue to talk about stormwater. It's even on my computer all week long here on Talking Fitchburg. Other news, Greenfield Park Road culvert replacement uh, is ongoing this week. The road closed this morning. It'll be closed through August 4th to complete culvert replacement work. One lane of traffic will remain open to allow access to properties. The closure dates may change if there's any rate delay or uh, any uh, changes in the schedule. There will be a new notification sent out. We'll let you know where that is. But as you can see here from the map, that is where it is closed. And if you got any questions, you can check in with our friend Ben Schulte from Fitchburg Public Works. His information is on the screen. Badger Prairie Needs Network has a virtual financial education seminar uh, in Spanish uh, coming up. Associated Bank is offering a free virtual financial education seminar in Spanish. Learn how banks work, what is credit, and why uh, financial literacy is important. This virtual class is offered in Spanish from 10 to 11 a.m. on the following Saturdays, August 5th, September 2nd, October 7th, and November 4th from 10 to 11 a.m. You can also scan the QR code there on the screen to get registered for this class. The art cart will be uh, in the area again uh, this week. It will be up at Hugel Park, which is right next to Hugel Jamestown Park. Either way, they'll be there on Wednesday, but your chance to uh, check out uh, the art cart and all its great offerings. And uh, there also will be uh, uh, some other uh, fun activities included while the art cart is there. Uh, they have uh, different themes for uh, each day, uh, whether it's a coffee truck that's coming along, uh, some clay work and other uh, fitness uh, opportunities. So either way, you can check the art cart schedule there. That information is on your screen. And finally, turning your attention from the Dane County Sheriff's Department, telling us about a scam to report. This came in uh, uh, this morning. It says Dane County Sheriff's Office is investigating several cases in which victims are told they won the lottery or published clearing house. This is what it says. In some cases, the scammers have provided documents to bolster the believable uh, scam. Victims who are often seniors are convinced to send cashier's check or wire money to cover taxes or fees they are told the person receiving the money is an agent or somehow associated with the lottery or published clearing house banks offer questions uh, banks often question the victims requesting transfer funds warning them that they may be victim of a scam however the scammers prepare the victims for this saying that the banks are required to make the statement scammers even give the victims a plausible response to share with the bank the funds are quickly withdrawn from the account and the ability to recover those funds can be difficult and almost often impossible. It is a complicated system the scammers have developed to make the money very difficult to follow. Sadly, the recipients of these funds uh, have lost a lot and probably even had some other identity theft issues. Either way, be safe and have a great day.